Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church on this November 1st, 2023, the Feast of All Saints. My name is Pam DeFelice, and I am your officiant today. We give thanks to the Father who has made us worthy to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Confession of Sin. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to render thanks for the great gifts that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others, those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts, confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Today we say the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Today we say Psalm 149. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord makes, takes pleasure in his people and adorns the poor with victory. 
Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them be joyful in their beds, on their beds. Let the praises of God be in their throat and the two-edged sword in their hand. To wreak vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles with links of iron. To inflict on them the judgment decreed. This is glory for all his faithful people. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson is from Sirach, chapter 2. My child, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for testing. Set your heart right and be steadfast, and do not be impetuous in time of calamity. Cling to him and do not depart, so that your last days may be prosperous. Accept whatever befalls you, and in times of humiliation, be patient. For gold is tested in the fire, and those found acceptable in the furnace of humiliation. Trust in him and he will help you. Make your ways straight and hope in him. You who fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Do not stray or else you may fall. You who fear the Lord, trust in him and your reward will not be lost. You who fear the Lord, hope for good things for lasting joy and mercy. Consider the generations of old and see, has anyone trusted in the Lord and been disappointed? Or has anyone persevered in the fear of the Lord and been forsaken? Or has anyone called upon him and been neglected? For the Lord is compassionate and merciful. He forgives sins and saves in time of distress. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A song of creation. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark. Storm clouds and thunderbolt, thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. <clears throat> Our second lesson is from Ephesians chapter 1. In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him 
who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance towards redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love towards all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is in the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him, who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaim, proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and he has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. <clears throat> Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect for the Feast of All Saints. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable day joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. A Collect for Guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer of self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Argentina, South America, the Right Reverend Brian Williams, Bishop. We also pray for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Haiti, the Right Reverend Jean Zacre Durissant, Bishop. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them. Remembering today, especially Kathy, Philip, Nancy, Jim and family, Renee, Lisa, Mary, Cindy, Jackie and Harry, Bruce, Jeffrey, Tom, Elaine, Emily, and the McGrath Burnett family. And I want us to pray today for Susie. 
She passed yesterday afternoon, Susie Hidehouse. May she rest in peace. We pray for our incoming rector, the Reverend Dr. Sanford H. Groff Jr., that he may be for us a faithful pastor who will care for us and equip us for our ministries. We also we pray also today for our grow ministries, remembering especially Bible study, that by the study and discussion of scripture, we may hear God's word in our lives and may act accordingly. And youth confirmation, that our youth members may grow into the full stature of Christ. A prayer for clergy and people. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of your grace, and that they may truly please you, pour upon them the continual dew of your blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Good morning, Sherry. Thank you for coming. And Ian says, Thanksgiving for a wonderful 25th anniversary trip to Spain and for a safe homecoming. Yes, we prayed for your travels daily. We did. We're so glad that you had such a great time. I should say a prayer for peace. Oh, that's the, of course, I probably can't find it. I redid my books. 60. Okay. Well, how about a prayer for the oppressed? Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us all. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to, those, to these our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all and grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now we have a litany of thanksgiving. Let us give thanks to God, our Father, for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us. For the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea, we thank you, Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ, we thank you, Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and families and our friends. We thank you, Lord. For minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve, we thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play, we thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity, we thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice, we thank you, Lord. For the communion of saints in all times and places, we thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. 
To him be praise and glory with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming today. May you all have a blessed day. And remember to be kind. Be kind to all that you meet. See you tomorrow.